Because, you know, celebrities, like actors, when they get in trouble, I'm okay with that, you know? Like, like, because they say, they say, you know, they just say things. And it's better when they say things we wrote for them, you know? That's, that's, like Mark, <laughs> like Mark Wahlberg got in trouble a while back because he said that if he was on the plane, that he would have stopped 9-11. He said in an interview that he was supposed to be on a plane in New York, and it was one of the planes that hit the Twin Towers, and that if he was on it, he would have stopped 9-11, which a lot of people got really upset by that. They thought that was offensive, offensive to the victims, but I think it was noble. Because all these actors, they talk about all their humanitarian efforts and all their philanthropy, Mark Wahlberg is the only one that is willing to take full responsibility for that. <laughs> <laughs> Al-Qaeda, you're off the hook. This was the funky bunch. All right? <laughs> Mark Wahlberg, weird. yeah. I mean, he says some crazy shit. He said in the last election that actors just need to shut up and let Americans decide who they're going to vote for. Just like actors just need to shut up about politics. And I agree. I don't think Mark Wahlberg should be allowed to talk to anyone. <laughs> He's a juvenile delinquent, turned underwear model, turned rapper, turned millionaire movie star. What are the odds that he's a good person? <laughs> <laughs> Just coming up to people like, oh, yeah, you know, you gotta live each day as if it's your last. You don't know. Maybe you're Vietnamese, you're walking through Boston, some young kid starts punching you in the face till you're blind. <laughs> It's like, Mark, that's just something you did to someone. <laughs> that's just your criminal record, actually.